No, I can't settle. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour? He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. I trust it's all here. Keep fighting the good fight. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only would trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Master Quinton has asked that we work through the night to undo the chaos the Royalists wreaked. But I fear dawn will have long since broken before the true damage is mended. And that's all you can remember. Think hard. I already told you. It was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Quinton took a liking to you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, 
If you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have done. Thank you. Bearers attuned to the element of fire are handy on the battlefield, as I'm sure you know. I expect that's why the Royalists wanted your man in particular. Honored visitor, might I ask that you pray with us for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters from evil? That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you'd done today getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church, and wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. I'll tell you one thing for nothing. That girl with the hooded bloke weren't his missus. More like his pet blimmin' curl, ready to pounce. Hanged man is always watching. <laughs> As if he had aught better to do. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So. A shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the Royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> 
My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. The road's south then? Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your help with the Royalists' barricade earlier. We'll see you the rest. Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you really help me get rid of them. children, for hope is not yet lost. Road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? If the Royalists were looking to take the care that have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, you should know. Just as I made it. <laughs> 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 
That's enough! to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. As I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. about this, Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. 